Hey tribe, how are you? What's good? What's happening? I hope things are all tickety-boo. Um, so yeah, it's been a hot minute since we spoke. I've just been in a little maternity bubble. Hey tribe, welcome back to HD DC, HD Designed to Crochet. I'm Heather and this is my channel all about crochet, the granny square, crochet designers and a little bit of pregnancy because at the moment I'm 39 and Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, 39 and three days pregnant. Hang on. Look. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> 39 and 3. <sighs> I am um, at the start of the pregnancy I had no idea how I was going to get to this point like no idea. And I've literally taken each day as it's come, sometimes literally minute by minute. So to be here. <laughs> wow. I'm proud of myself. And also. Amazed. Yeah. 39 and 3. I keep singing that song. I'm still standing because um, most of the people that I know that are pregnant and due around me, all of them but one have had their baby. So like four of them have had theirs. Um, and two, three months ago, I would have bet that I would have been the first one because I was just going to get to 37 weeks and then we were done. And then for various different reasons, so um, medical complications, 
different reasons for each one and one of them just arrived early they've all had their babies all but one so yeah it feels really bizarre to think that in terms of pregnancy i've had like the toughest most complicated but then when it comes to the end hurdle all of their pregnancies are suddenly switched and they've had their babies now because of that so that's bizarre so I just keep singing I'm still standing um yeah I'm 39 and 3 and you know what the last couple of days I have felt pretty decent and a lot like myself and I, I hope I haven't jinxed that but um yeah I've been able to cut down on some of the anti-sickness medication which is great because it reduces the overall drowsiness um we've been really working on my sleep routine because um the medication that i am on really really adds to pregnancy insomnia so it's not unusual for brad to go to bed at like nine half nine in the evening wake up with his 4am alarm and i haven't been asleep i'm still wide awake um that's fine when you've got the energy to get something done because you just carry on just don't wake brad up while you're doing whatever you're doing but when you've got no energy and you're exhausted and you want to sleep but you're still there like no matter what you do no matter how much you nap don't nap exercise don't exercise rest whatever it is you do those tablets honestly this is just a whole ordeal there's been a lot of garden time I love, love, love my garden, love gardening. And um, we spend like a couple of hours every weekend just maintaining what we've already got and maybe adding to it. So this weekend we went to one of my favorite garden centers. It's really local. Um, it's in Quinnabur and it's called Bark Bee Road Nurseries. Like it's not online at all. It's got no social media presence, but it's always seems really busy when we're there. It's one of those like word of mouth things and um brad got a load of plants and then with my budget we went and got some new plant parts planters and some compost and um, bit by bit like the garden is really starting to come together which is lovely because i've been spending a lot more time out there I keep looking out there at the moment out the window i'm spending a lot more time out there um i keep taking my birthing ball and i go sit on the lawn surrounded by all my nice flowers and yeah it's just lovely and colourful and nice to be able to get out and then also I've been making little poses like little bouquets of flowers from my garden that we've got I've got two in the bedroom so if I can't get out the bedroom very much at least I've got that little bit of colour and um we gifted some to my parents and my in-laws yeah so that's cute and little tip for you the little jars are empty seasoning jars so i just went through the spice rack anything that was out of date like the cinnamon that was september 2019 i mean you might still be able to use it and i was using it because i didn't realize the date but empty seasoning jars even if they're not out of date when you empty them save them you can put your little flowers in um my hair is really happy look how long it's got and just full and thick um my nails have continuously broke throughout this pregnancy but my hair has thrived and i mean i'd rather my hair do well so it's grown so long and thick nobody comment below with when baby's here it's gonna fall out let me have my moment people let me have my moment <laughs> i'm feeling pretty okay um gonna take myself on a little waddle up the street there's like a little route that i do that gives me about a thousand steps and it's just enough that it makes me move but i don't get overtired and too far away from the house and then in trouble um and i try and do that a couple days a couple days a couple times a day on the better days just so that i'm moving and then i've got my birthing ball um and there's a few things on my to-do list I just want to do because they're on my mind. And I figured, I've been like, do I just leave it all till baby's here so I can just start and not be interrupted? 
or do I just start now and then potentially have a gap because then baby arrives and I'll step away from everything but then I was like even if baby's here I am going to be interrupted because like I'm going to be working in their nap time and things like that so yeah I've got a few things that I'd like to maybe just get started I mean baby could arrive this evening but at least then I've done little bits or I've got a plan in place of what I want to do next so gonna go for a little walk and whilst I'm walking figure out what my top priorities are I really want to use my new pattern planner but I also really want to take photos with it before I use it so then I'm like shall I just jump in and use mine and order another one and then I'm like the pot of money I've put aside for samples and stock I'm, I've got like a secret project on the go plus the planners plus other products and like it's dwindling so I need to conserve those funds but then I'm like I have had a couple of sales go through off the back of Etsy so oh, what shall I do what shall I do I just I really want to use my planner now the other thing that I did do was I have prototypes of my monthly planner like a monthly schedule on the wall um i am such a visual person and if it's not on show i will forget about it so i've put up there are 12 on the wall and eventually i want these to be those like wipeable calendars so i can put i can write on it with um whiteboard marker and then change it but for now uh just as a prototype i have printed them off and just put them on the wall just so i can see what they're like in use and so far i've done august to december on this side i've left july blank purely because um it depends when baby arrives as to what i'll be doing if baby arrives now which is the 31st of may then it will make a difference as opposed to if they arrive at the end of their due date, like the furthest I'll go before they induce me is the 10th to the 14th of January. It's not January, June. So I've got like 10 to 14 days left. So I kind of just left July blank because um, basically we want to take it off and Brad's got the whole of July off for maternity leave paternity leave and we're going on holiday so yeah i've just kept left that open knowing that whatever i get done or whatever i do in that time is a bonus it would just be like a lot of crochet and a lot of just feeding my baby um and then the other side i've left blank and that's going to be for the next six months the first six months of 2023 but i've left that blank for now for a few reasons one overwhelm don't want too much on there two it's just a little bit too far in advance for me to plan right now because my life's going to be so different with having a newborn and a different routine and three i'm launching a lot of new products in august september and november oh my gosh basically august through to december i'm releasing loads of new products and so i kind of want to see how they go and what the reaction is to them before i then plan the rest of next year or any of next year because if something doesn't really do that well then i'll probably drop it but if something's really popular then maybe that's something i need to explore even more so yeah um ooh, yeah need to go for my walk but let me just show you this we went to get new planters and um we have to have black or gray planters because the fencing in our garden is black and grey so the main fence is black and then the picket fence is grey along with the shed so um so that there's not too much going on we've stuck to black and grey plant pots and planters now we have got some like terracotta ones and some brown ones that kind of um we had before we put this theme in place so bit by bit we're like replacing them passing them on so if you ever see shots of my garden yeah there are a few that aren't quite in keeping but bit by bit we're getting there so the new ones we went to get i wanted to visit a couple of shops and one of them was home bargains and when we was in there we walked past the yarn aisle and i was like oh 
and I spotted some colours in double knit that can add to my granny squares. So I got four different shades. This one being my favourite. It's like a glitter grey and I've never had this shade before. And I was like, oh, I've got to get that. It's called Grey Sparkle. The brand is Crafty Things. 100 grams of double knit. It's got 300 metres to it. Um, I don't know why my voice sounds so... <laughs> I am a bit hay fevery though. It's 97% acrylic, 3% lurex. And yeah, it's just gorgeous. <laughs> and whilst I was looking, I was like, I'm getting these as well. So I picked up this colour, which is called Beige. Very fitting. It's like my favourite shade at the moment. I picked up this one, which is Peach. I did have a peach, but I've used most of it up now. And I picked this one up, which is Burnt Orange. <laughs> I'm mad about orange. It's crazy. Um... But they're all shades that I don't have, so I'm going to put these in my tubs, which means when I start making more granny squares for my next big project, I've got more colours to add in. So that's exciting, because I did just go and get uh, this pink and this turquoise from the pound shop as well. The orange is from Hobbycraft. So, yeah, I've got some different shades i mean the burnt orange with the orange mm. or the burnt orange and the peach the pink and the peach the turquoise and the peach oh my gosh so many options and then what about the glitter gray and the turquoise oh i've dropped that square everything i drop is so far away now use my feet to pick it up Green pink. <laughs> so yeah, really pleased with that. Um, my plan is to make granny squares and then make the big blanket that I want for our bed and that I'm going to be joining in a neutral colour. So I've got plenty of colours stashed aside to make a really good start. And then I'm hoping a little bit further in to put a order in on Lovecraft and get a whole bunch of colours to just spice it up. How many squares do I need? Well, for the baby version, I needed like 500, I think. I think I'm going to need like a thousand squares or something. As we start approaching into the darker winter months, as we approach autumn, the blanket should be largely done so that'd be cool because then we can have it on our bed i just got to figure out a way to keep albus off it i don't want him to snag his paws and i don't want it covered in dog hair so it might not be something that i leave on the bed in the day because right now he is on our bed so that's my big project i've got planned and i'm looking forward to it um, I do find that I'm quite intense and I'm all or nothing. So I start a project and I either do every single thing on it for every single minute of every single waking day or I don't touch it at all. And I want to try and have a bit more balance where I can just spend an hour a day on a project and that be okay and just enjoy watching it build. Let's see how I get on with that. Baby's really dancing in my tummy. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. There's always a dog here. I also made these little granny squares <laughs> out of embroidery floss. So cute. Got a few ideas percolating for those. Hmm. So on my to-do list, I've got two patterns to grade so I can start making the samples. I also have a free guide on my granny squares to finish writing up, a granny square baby blanket that I want to finish writing up. I've named it now. Um, I want to be able to put that out there when I come back from my maternity leave. And I also have um, stuff for the hub. So I've got new 
I've got a new workbook and planner in mind for the hub that I want to release September. They need writing up. I've got like a draft outline. I just want to really, really get, get into that and get that done because it doesn't even need to take me that long. I know what I want to say. I just keep procrastinating and it's so annoying. Um, I actually started designing a couple more products. So one of which is the, is these. And another one I've kept quiet. Um, so that needs finishing. I need to send off the samples for that. I could do with finding manufacturers for this and looking at quotes and prices. Though I won't be releasing these till much later in the year anyway, because I want to give them a really good trial at like, make sure they work for me before I offer them out there. Um, and I'm also working on a secret project for HGDC. Like I am buzzing about the secret project. Um, it's taken, it's really in the development stage at the moment. It's taken quite a lot of research, quite a bit of backwards and forwards, um, sourcing materials. And um, I think you're gonna love it. But of course, don't actually truly know until you see it. So I'm a little bit like, there's a cost to get the samples made. Um, there's gonna be a cost to get, I just know you're gonna love it and it's gonna be worth it. So I'm, I'm just going in, I'm just doing it, I'm just jumping in and it's fun, but also like the other morning I woke up, I woke up and I had a, I was like, oh, I know how to, fix that little snaffle you know the little niggle that wasn't quite working and then i immediately ran into another one and i this morning figured out how i'm getting around that i've had like samples of materials in various online baskets on my phone for a little while so that's another thing that i can sit and actually order because i've got a way forward with that and i've got so many ideas for it um and again it is granny square related so oh um and then the other thing i wanted to do was finish baby taylor's cardigan because um i want them to come home in it part of me is like dragging my feet because i think the moment that cardigan's done baby's going to arrive and i want them to arrive but i'm also like I've got all these things i want to do um so yeah i could do with putting some time into that so <laughs> i've also been working on a few prototypes in the background so there's been quite a lot of crochet time and a lot of like trial and error um, but I'm just to totally taking the pressure off myself and I'm not really going to show them. I think what I'm going to do is just finish a bunch of them up and then just show you. Um, they're not necessarily patterns that I'm going to put out there. Like there's an end goal, but I need to do a lot of trial and error basically. So yeah, I've been working on that. One of them I finished and it's okay, but it's it's not... I can make it better, so I'm going to do another one. Can't show you the contents though, because secret projects, yo! <laughs> that face. <laughs> right. You are done. You are done. Hmm. We're not doing that anymore. Sorted me. Ugh. Can I take that off? If I do this. Legit done that. Done that, done that. Need to do that, need to do that. Done. 
Done that. Done that. Hmm. I've ticked off two. On the pattern side, there's 16 items. I've ticked off two. I'm gonna add another one. This is 17. Dang it, Bob. And on the product side, there's 13. I've crossed off one, so there was 14. And I've ticked off one, two, three, four, five, six items. It was all like research. I could definitely get another two ticked off quite easily. So let's put that down there out of the way so you can't see. Ooh. Just gonna add one more. Okay, 14 items on the product side, 17 on the pattern side. I've ticked off two on the patterns. One, two, three, four, five, six on the products. Let's get busy, y'all. Hey tribe, so the day happened and I didn't update you. And then, oh, Albie's on one. You gonna say hello? Say hi. Day. Speak. <laughs> Where's your toy? I'm trying to record. Where's your toy? Why have you got to squeak? I'm recording. Wait. Thank you. Oh. I want to show you the yarn that I've got, but Albie's going to be squeaking his toy. Let's see what we can do. So, I went to Sainsbury's because it's my nanny's 80th tomorrow. And I wanted to get her an apple pie. It's like her favourite thing. So I got her apple pie. And I went down the yarn aisle. Bussy! Oh, I went down the yarn aisle and I picked these up. So I got a lilac. And it's their double knit yarn. 100% acrylic. 100 grams is probably 300 meters uh, hmm. doesn't actually say meterage how bizarre how bizarre anyway i got lilac i got gray and you know on the bands They've just got shade numbers. They've not got colours. But then when I scanned it through, the colours came up. So, whatever. I got lilac, uh, lilac grey, which will go with this one I got the other day. Um, I got... Turquoise. I also picked up... Oh, why I'm doing this to myself. There we go. I got this lime, which I am really pleased with. 
haven't got that in my colours. So that's going to make some pretty nice granny squares. Like, look at that turquoise and that lime. Um, I got this emerald green. And that's what it came up with when I scanned it. Um, I have a tiny little bit of this left from Sheepies. But it's like a really, I've heavily used it. And then I got brown. Just a standard brown which will go well with this one that i got from home bargains um yeah i think i'm most excited about the lime but i also really needed lilac because i'd used my last piece i had like a slightly i had a lighter shade it was more pastely but that will do and then um there is a yarn shop that I want to visit on Friday. I'm hoping I get to go to. I'm hoping to get an even lighter lilac to replace what I've used. And I'd also like a real sunshine yellow because I don't have any of that in my stash. And then um, just like a couple of just different shades so that when I start all the squares for our blanket, I've got loads to dip into. So yeah, I got some more yarn. So in the last few days, I've picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine, ten. So it's a thousand grams. Oh, almost dropped it. Oh no. I picked up a thousand grams of double knit i mean the amount of squares i can make with that is ridiculous but because i like mine to be so colorful it means that i need like a bazillion shades to do it um but i most definitely don't have this shade in my stash never had that before and i really like the lime and i've got some neon green somewhere and that will look really good with the lime as well I think the lime and the lilac, that's a vibe. So, yeah, I also got the, um, I'll show you. What did I get? I've basically been going to all of the different yarn shops that are, like, within 15 minutes or so of me and getting the different shades to add to stash. So after I finished um, the three baby blankets, Oh, that breath. After I finished the three baby blankets, um, I was really running low on like certain colours, my most used colours. So I've been bit by bit stocking up. Um, and then I might potentially put an order in on Lovecrafts if I can't get a couple of other shades I'm looking for. But um, I went into the pound shop. Oh, oh, just caught it. And I got this bright pink. They come in 50 gram balls and I got this turquoise. I got two of the pink because I use a lot of pink. Um, but the turquoise and the pink, so it was three for two. So it's two pounds for 150 grams. So I picked those up, um, which you've seen in the little granny squares I keep showing you. And then I got a couple of colours from Hobbycraft as well. So I got this orange, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. It's a really nice shade. Uh, it looks good with a tan. I got this teal. Um, I don't know why, but I keep wanting to say it's like a petrol teal. There's nothing petrol about it. I got this sage, which again, really like that. Ooh, it looks good with some of these shades. And I got the purple as well. Uh, I didn't have this shade in my stash. So 100, 200, 350 grams there as well. So um, I'm getting close to having amassed 1.5 kilos of yarn in the last few days. So all of these different colours will become squares for our brew blanket. I'll show you what they look like.